Hi, I'm Lee Herbert, and in this video I want to take you through some of the new features in Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. Now, one of the main headline features that everyone sort of noticed first was that we now have dupe detection, which is phenomenally exciting because we're now able to see when we use a clip more than once in the timeline. Now, the way to activate this feature is you come over to your timeline options in the right-hand side of the middle menu bar, click on that, and then you'll see down here at the bottom, there is a new option that says duplicate ranges. You click on that, and now you'll see in the timeline, some of my clips have had this sort of, these bars added to them that shows me that those are duplicate clips. Now, I'm a huge fan of the fact that we now have dupe detection, but I do wish that Apple had made it a bit easier to see the duplicate clips rather than these blue lines, because watch what happens. If I make a clip really small, it's, well, maybe not that quite small, maybe not quite that small, but you get the idea, it's difficult to see it. In fact, if I make this clip small, and I've just got the title of the clip, it's not as easy to see those bars because the title of the clip is hiding it. So if you do have the title activated, that can make it a bit more difficult to see it. Another way to see your dupes is to go to your timeline index. And so if you come over to your timeline index and click on clips, you will then see these little bars over your duplicate clips in the timeline like that. So that's really useful as well. Now you may notice that you don't see this if you don't have the duplicate range option selected. So you see if I turn that off, they disappear, turn it on, they come back. And that's how dupe detection works. The feature that I'm really excited about though is voice isolation. So let me just hide the index for you. And let me show you how this works. Now this is from a series of videos that I did for a travel company back in 2019 in Jordan. And these particular interviews we had to record in the lobby of a hotel. So it wasn't the best environment for audio. And you can hear even with what I did with the microphones, you can hear it doesn't sound that great. So by the end of the trip, uh, I'll be a little sad, but again, joyful because so, you know, there's a bit of echo, there's a bit of background noise. So what I can do now is I can select the clip, come over to my audio options, and I've now got voice isolation as an option. So if I just click on that and leave it at 50%, let's hear it. I'm sure by the end of the trip, I'll be a little sad, but again... You can hear it's already gotten rid of quite a lot, but now let's push it up to 100% and see what it does. Trip, I'll be a little sad, but again which I think is pretty darn amazing. Let's listen to that again. So here it is without any voice isolation. I'll be a little sad, but again, joyful. And now let's hear it with the voice isolation. I'll be a little sad, but again, joyful because any that is pretty darn stunning if i do say so myself now as usual i would have preferred if apple had given us more control over voice isolation than just an amount slider but that amount slider seems to be doing a heck of a lot of ai work in the background to get us such wonderful results now just for you know a, a bit of fun why don't we go and look at this clip over here and just listen to it Duh. I chose to go on this trip with my husband who is... Now that's not too bad because I'm using, you know, a lav mic and it wasn't as loud in that environment. Now let's turn the lav mic off and just listen to it with the um, built-in camera mic. And, uh, I chose to go on this trip with my... And now let's see what the voice isolation can do with that. So we select voice isolation, leave it at 50%. And, uh, I chose to... Not great, but now let's bump it up to 100%. To go on this trip with my... And now let's bump up the volume. My husband who is a GV because uh, we've all... Not perfect, but considering how terrible, quite frankly, it sounded before, and you would never use this audio, you know, anyway, because it's just a scratch mic. My husband who is... That's pretty darn impressive. And what it can do with good audio, so like decent, here's a mic. I chose to go on this trip. And we'll just use the voice isolation here as well. I chose to go on this trip with my... That's pretty darn impressive. So dupe detection, I think it's great that it's there. I would love some different colors or some other way to represent the duplicates. And the sound isolation, the voice isolation, I think is, a, you know, that's a home run. That's, that's an amazing update to Final Cut Pro. And I think that's going to be very useful for a lot of people. Being a YouTuber, I should now say, if you have any thoughts or if you what, tell me what you think in the comments. So, yeah, you know, if you, if you have thoughts, let me know in the comments. Love to have a bit of a discussion with you there. And, um, yeah. Catch you later.